Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Feature Friday. Today, we're going to be talking about a topic that we have covered in the past. We've kind of glazed over it when we've talked about different things like the hard hats, the high vis, safety apparel, all those types of things. But what we wanted to do is put a little more focus specifically on the type of decorations that are available on the different types of products. So as mentioned, there's kind of some of the key products that we have that you can put your decorations on. Uh, we do have your hard hats. Uh, you know, we have a couple of different brands that have their own programs. So there's definitely some options as far as that goes. We also have your high vis safety apparel. Generally speaking, even normal clothing, for the most part, we can put some decorations on that. And one of the more recent additions to the lineup is going to be uh, gloves and just some of your other kind of PPE formats. Uh, we've done glasses kind of way in the past as well. So there's definitely some options, but the main ones that we're really kind of starting to key into is going to be this product mix that you see on the table. So the different decorations type that are available. So the main three that we typically work with is going to be the embroidery, the heat transfer and the pad printing. So embroidery is definitely a very popular style of decoration. It uses that needle and thread directly onto the material. It's really durable. It'll last many, many washes. And in most cases, we've actually seen that the embroidery on a garment is gonna outlast the garment itself, especially based on the industrial applications. Now, the one thing that can be kind of a downside is gonna be the size and the shape and the type of decoration or logo that you're looking to put on. So one thing that we find is that you kind of want like a nice established logo. So, you know, an example of embroidery that we have over here, for example, is going to be the Macmore logo, which we actually have in a very interesting kind of position. We've actually done this one to show that you can actually put some decorations across to the high vis. Now there's some circumstances on placement and such, but this is just one example of embroidery that you can put on right to the fabric. So it looks really good, looks really clean. Again, that kind of depends. If you were to try to go for a really, really small logo, we wouldn't recommend it, wouldn't be the go-to thing. When you kind of look at something like that, we usually find that your heat transfer is going to be a better option for you there. Now on that note, let's go into heat transfer. So essentially it's printing a logo Logo, which is then cut glue to the garment and applied using that heat press. So the type of customization allows for some really detailed logo, hence the, the nice looking maple leaf that you see here. It kind of gives you that nice precision on that detail. It can be done on all types of fabrics, clothing, a lot of options are available there, which is great. And it does offer some pretty good resistance over multiple washes. Now, one of the kind of the newer things that we've seen uh, pad printing has been around for a long time, uh, especially when it comes to hard hats. Uh, you can definitely find that a lot of decorations that are done this way are, you know, really well done and really precise. Because the good thing with pad printing is that it does apply a, like a thin layer of ink to a rubber stamp. It can be really detailed on the design, which is really great. Any shape, size, it's really versatile the way that you can kind of customize it. Most colors can be well represented as well. So it is good for the versatility if you kind of have some kind of creative design options that you want to have on the table. Now, one of the main downsides of the pad printing is that it does use an ink format, which does mean that the wear and tear on the fabric or across the logo itself on the way that it's applied, you know, over time it can wear out. I mean, it's not a perfect science, but like all things is, you know, if things are treated pretty well, it should last a good amount of time and you should definitely feel like it's worth while investment for the way that you want to do it. So now when we get into it, in terms of talking about, you know, why you want to put decorations uh, on your gloves, why you want to put it on your vest, your hard hats, on all that stuff. This is something we've covered before, but we will reiterate it. It's a great way to unify your workers. It's a good professional look on the job. It helps to promote that brand, that message, and it really just advertises you as a business. And it looks really professional. Now, if you have additional questions about the process, like what kind of file type do I need to get a logo on some clothing? You know, what resolution? What do I really need for all this? What what are my options? Is it always going to be black on something? You know, when it comes to heat transfer, if I want to do high vis reflective, what kind of garments does that look good on? There's a lot of things you can cover. We're going to cover some of that in our blog. So if you have some additional kind of questions, maybe check out the Macmore blog because we're likely going to answer a few of those. But if there's anything that you feel is going to be beyond that scope, just reach out to us. We're more than happy to help you out. But that's kind of what we're here for information, resources, all that stuff. So thanks for tuning in, guys. That's another Feature Friday. Take care and we'll see you next time.